CIT 100 students, welcome to Spreadsheets. This is a foundational moment in your computer learning. Your instructor considers spreadsheets to be the most powerful data handling tool the Earth has ever seen. This video accompanies the Spreadsheets in Brief section of Chunk 3, Module 1 on technologyrediscovery.net. Under Computer Fundamentals, we have Chunk 3 and Module 1. You'll see that this module is designed to be worked through sequentially from top to bottom. So start with the core idea, which happens to be spreadsheets in brief. We want to go over the fundamentals, and then the rest of the module will walk you through building your own budget using a spreadsheet. Let's imagine that we run a small business. We install oak cabinets on site at various clients around Pittsburgh. It's tax time, and we can deduct the federal mileage rate from our income if we track it. And so we need a spreadsheet that details how many miles I drive each day. We also want to total it up so that we can see how many miles we drove the entire week and use that single total for our tax purposes. Let's fire up a spreadsheet, and let's get to it. Any spreadsheet will do. I have pulled up Microsoft Excel that I found by typing Excel in the Start menu. And I'm confronted, I'm given a blank spreadsheet. Spreadsheets are organized into a grid, the columns are lettered, and the rows are numbered. Generally speaking, the first value at the top of a column tells you what the data is underneath it. So if we want to record how, how many miles I drive every day, the first column will represent day, and I can do Monday, Tuesday. I'll teach you a, f a trick with Excel. Excel helps us with sequences. And it's smart. It knows about weeks. And I am also demonstrating several different modes of using a spreadsheet. I just clicked a cell and I started typing. And immediately when I pushed a key to type in that cell, it changed my user mode to edit. Notice when I'm doing that, a bunch of the uh, spreadsheet level options at the top of my screen go gray because I can't use them until I am back in format mode. And uh, this is interesting because we need to know which mode we're in and that will allow us to do certain things. So I just mistyped the, the day Wednesday. So I want to edit it. I'm not in edit mode. So if I start typing in the Wednesday cell with it selected, it overwrites it. That's no good. So I can always control Z, which is undo, because we're going to make mistakes. And computers make mistakes very cheap. Just control Z, undo. What I need to do is enter this cell in edit mode. The easiest way to do that with your mouse is to double click. You'll see that a cursor appears. That allows me to adjust the text without overwriting what was originally there. When I'm done editing, I can hit enter and I can move on. I encourage you to learn how to use a spreadsheet primarily with the keyboard because it will make you more efficient and will also make your modes clearer. The key function that we need to do is toggle between the modes. So I'm going to position my hands. I, I'm going to have my left hand on the left hand side of the keyboard and my right hand hovering over the arrow keys to navigate. So just try moving your arrow keys to move the selection box around cells. Let's say I want to adjust Wednesday but I don't want to double click. I can uh, select this cell and then hit F2. Immediately when I hit F2, function 2, I see my cursor and I'm in edit mode so I can adjust Wednesday and then I can hit enter notice my page level options come back come back from the dead and I can now do things such as uh, format how a cell looks I want to teach you a quick trick I can select multiple cells I can do so with the mouse by clicking and dragging on the first cell and moving to the last cell in my range I can also use my keys to navigate to the first cell. Hold down shift and then my arrow keys will allow me to move a selection around. Now the trick is if I give the formula, if I tell the the spreadsheet, hey this list is uh, something that I want to extend. I wonder if you can help me extend it in a smart way. So it knows that oh Monday's a day of the week, Tuesday comes after Monday, Wednesday comes after Tuesday, I bet this user is trying to make a list of sequential days and we can ask it to fill that in. Notice that when I'm uh, hovering and moving my mouse over a selected cell I see a big plus sign. That will allow me 
um, to do things such as right click and cut or copy this range but I actually want to hover over the tiny little square in the lower right hand corner when my mouse is in the right place it will change its cursor to a crosshairs a small x now if I click and drag down um, notice that it's going to try to match my days of the week um, but it was not smart enough because I did not type um, Tuesday correctly so it did not know what I was trying to do Tuesday so now if I do that selection again select from Monday to Wednesday hover over the lower left and you'll notice as I click and drag down it's previewing what it's going to put in that cell when I let go and it knows how to uh, enumerate the days of the week so that was easy that was handy what's the other thing we want to record miles driven okay now we are going to enter a number into these cells so we can take advantage of the full calculating powers of the spreadsheet which is primarily about numeric analysis so let's say I drove 23.2 miles on Monday we're gonna just uh, launch down this road just like the example 55.2 on Wednesday Thursday 45.1 a little less Friday I had to really zoom around 55.8 had to make an extra long run to lows I mostly took Sunday off and I did not do any business related driving on Sunday that's handy so notice one thing when you type in a number into a cell it recognizes it as a number which means it can do math on it it does so it tells you that it recognized this cell as a number by positioning or justifying the number on the right hand side of the cell text is justified on the left and this allows you to easily see the difference between a cell that has numbers and a cell that has text the reason this is important is if I want to total up the days that are the number of miles I drove through the whole week I want to use a formula to calculate this so I have seen students at this very moment reach for a calculator and add up 23.2 plus 45.8 plus 55.2 that would be terrible a terrible waste because you are staring in the face of the most powerful calculator for the masses the world has ever seen each cell can contain literal typed values like 12.1 we can also instruct the spreadsheet for how to calculate the value of a cell using some other set of values so that is signaled with the equal sign so I've selected a cell I'd like to type a formula into and I type equal sign everything that comes after the equal sign will not be printed in the cell it will be interpreted as an instruction for calculating the value of this cell well, let's do a quick demonstration we can type in normal numbers and normal math like 45 plus 2 times 4 divided by 3 these are basic math operations the stars multiply forward slashes divide and I didn't need to tell you about the plus so if I hit enter you'll notice that everything that followed the equal sign was interpreted as a formula so it gave me the answer of 45 plus 2 times 4 divided by 3 the answer showed up in the cell if I click the cell I can see the original formula that was used to calculate that value in the formula bar at the top of the spreadsheet I can edit it up there let's say I wanted to divide by 5 instead that's a more even number I can edit that formula by double clicking and I can allow uh, the spreadsheet to change into edit mode now this isn't particularly helpful what it means is I can do math on the spreadsheet great but I don't want to calculate math by entering numbers I want it to add up numbers that are in a different cell so I can do that by typing equals here's a formula get ready and I can type in the name of a cell B3 notice that it highlighted cell B3 so that I can see how my formula looks when I'm building it let's say oh no I wanted B2 plus add up whatever is in B3 B3 plus you'll notice that I'm typing out the letter and the number by hand you can also when you're in edit mode when this cursor is flashing I can click a cell and it will add the reference to wherever the cursor is and then I can add my plus and I can march down this list and I can add up all of these numbers now why am I gonna add the zero first of all we want to be complete second of all 
we want this total to change if I change any one of the individual days. That way I don't have to recalculate the sum of the whole week. So let's imagine uh, I had an emergency cabinet collapse and I had to drive 6.1 miles on Sunday. So notice I'm overwriting cell B8. It had a zero. I type 6.1. I'm still in edit mode. And then I hit enter. Now watch the 237. It changed to 243 immediately when I hit enter. That's auto updating. Uh, every single spreadsheet will do that. That is the functionality that made spreadsheets so powerful. So if I double click my formula again, I can see the same cells are in my formula. Add up B2 plus B3 plus B4, etc and display the answer. That formula is rerun anytime any cell is changed, including uh, this cell. I could change this down to 40, and my total was recalculated. Finally, before we move into the other basics, this is a long formula. There's got to be an easier way than typing in each cell. What if I had 100 days? What if I was tracking three months' worth of driving? Well, we can use what's called a function to automate tedious tasks. So I just, if I use the function sum, sum equals sum, and then I give it a value that I have to put inside parentheses, I can give it a range. So I can say sum is the function that knows how to add up cells in a range that's given. That means a block of cells. So I want you to go from B2. Now I'm not going to type plus, I'm going to type colon. B2, that's the beginning of the range. Add up everything from B2 until B8. Ooh, look. It found that range, and I can close my parenthesis. This is optional. It'll usually do it for you. I can hit enter. That sum function is part of our formula and allows us to do tasks easily. Finally, to wrap up this overview, let's notice that in every spreadsheet, there are formatting options at the top of your page. In Microsoft Excel, we want to go to the Home tab because when you can't find something in another tab, go to Home. Maybe it's in the Home. And you'll see that we have standard text formatting options. We can make uh, text bold. Notice that the formatting options are applied only to the cells that I select. So if I want to have the top row be bold and my total be bold, I select those cells and then click the formatting option I want. I can also change the coloring. I like to do uh, inverted coloring for headers. So if I do a dark say dark blue as the uh, sorry dark blue as the background and then I'll make the text readable with a light uh, white and then I like to do uh, the total row to set that apart a bit so let's make that a lighter blue we just accomplished a, a useful task we did it in about five minutes if I weren't blabbering so much and this begins your journey into spreadsheets okay hold on let's uh, inaugurate spreadsheets with an effect Welcome to, welcome, welcome to Spreadsheets, the most powerful data handling tool the Earth has ever seen.